We're going to kind of quickly go over how to check your fuses. You've got two of the easiest and basic ways. First off, you've got your, your test light that you can use. Then you've also got your multimeter. So it's pretty simple for those of you that, that have never checked a fuse. Your test light, before you ever start anything, you're going to want to put one end on your negative, one end on your positive, and make sure your light does light up. Uh, on the older styles, the bulbs can be blown in them. The newer styles, you got the LEDs, they're usually pretty, pretty reliable, but that's just a good measure to take to make sure your test light is good before you go hunting a bad fuse. So you're going to want to look for your fuse box. Majority of the time on your vehicle it's going to be marked. If not, you can go in your owner's manual. Look right here, fuse. Now, if you look on the back side of this cover, there again, most of the time you'll have your fuse diagram. So, not sure how well you can see that, but it's got your your big block fuses up here, your mini fuses, and your relays. So there'll be they'll be labeled. Sometimes they just have numbers and you'll have to go in your owner's manual and find out which number is the fuse you're needing. But moving on, we'll set that out of the way. We'll take your test light and you're gonna hook it to the ground side of your battery. There again, well, it don't pop off. So there again, you wanna ensure your test light is properly working. Now to be fair, a lot of times right here, we're not getting any any power on our fuses. So you wanna make sure that you've got your ignition on. So now with the ignition on, we'll check again, see if we get power. We're getting power on that pin. And we're getting power on that pin. So that shows that that fuse is good. Now if you have a bad fuse, for example, let's see here. You'll get power on one side, like that right there, and you won't get nothing on the other side. Oh, your voltmeter, it's gonna be the same way. A lot of these digital volt, mostly digital voltmeters are used now. They're quick, simple, and easy, especially for people who are new to doing this type of stuff. You're going to want to set it to your 12 volt setting. There again, you want to check and make sure that it's going to read like it's supposed to. And as you can see right there, we're reading 12.101 volts. So you'll leave your negative there, then you're going to come over here, touch this pin, 11.96, touch the other side of the fuse, and it's not showing anything. There we go, 11.95. So that fuse is good. Um, on your fuses, pretty sure you probably can't see that fuse box too well. This is going to be your fuse. So when you're testing, you got these little spots on top. And you're gonna stick this pin right there and it should light up on that side. And then you move to the next side and it should light up. If it lights up on one side, not the other, more than likely this fuse is blowed and you can check and look right there to see. A lot of times you can see it popped in there. Um, that's, that's pretty much it. If you're not getting power on either side of the fuse, a lot of times with your, your headlights or your turn signals or your trailer lamps, they have got to be turned on before the fuse is energized. So that's that's pretty much it on this one. Um, if you have any questions or comments, let me know. Like I said, I kind of briefly went over this, didn't have much time, but it's kind of it's kind of self-explanatory when you're doing it. Like I said, if you do have any questions or comments, just comment below, and I'll be happy to answer them and help in any way I can. Thank you for checking out another video.